it's siege battle tournament time again and that means we're going to take a look at some of the best defenses from i think we're going to do global europe and asia server today probably and we're going to see what the top guilds are using for some of their defenses so let's get it started we don't have any uh, matches going on right now and also we don't have the finals that we're going to take a look at right now but i just want i like to do these videos so that it gives a lot of casual players, a lot of maybe new players, different, maybe not new players, new players, you're a long way from this, don't worry about siege defenses anytime soon, but it does give some people uh, that aren't paying too much attention to the meta some uh, some good ideas for units that they can use for their siege defense. Oh, we see, since Clara got the speed buff, we see the Clara in there. Uh, one of the things here is there is two units that do damage based on speed. And there is no sustain. So you could Leo and tank. I mean, Leo is one of the best siege units anyway. But you could tank that out with Leo. I'm going to try to not. I don't think I have ever fought one of these. I know that she is a little bit more. Well, she has always been kind of common in siege, actually. That's, that's, you know, that's new to me, too. All right, Clara, Theo, Mars, and XLD unit. What are we on? Seven? Even I'm learning stuff today, guys. I, I never, I never fought that. Uh, I think we just clicked on the same base again. Okay, let's go to nine. Nice thing about that Clara and Theomar's defense is it is mostly, I mean, you just stick in some nice, fast, aggressive uh, LD. And it's, for the most part, pretty free-to-play friendly. And you can build multiple of them if you are... If you're willing enough to build multiple of them, you can build multiple of them. Uh, there's going to be a lot of damage mitigation on this uh, defense. Uh, I don't need to put my two cents in. We just want to see the defenses. I don't need to keep commenting. Because if we comment on every single defense, then it's, we're going to be here for like two and a half hours. And you know, with the way I make videos, we're going to be here for two and a half hours regardless. Because we all know I can't ever shut up. Uh, this is pure, <clears throat> pure damage. With the skill three it's rng but it's rng i'm surprised that ssa did not oh there's so many debuffs but this is gonna do so much damage so fast and it's gonna do decreased attack hit. i'm sorry i just keep saying things that even taking a juno into this she still might not get turns and she's gonna take a lot of damage too Man, Lume is seriously... Well, Lume has been everywhere for a while. I, sh I shouldn't comment that Lume is everywhere. That's not That's not that new. This is rather odd. Was not expecting that. Plenty of holly berries. So we're going to get a balance... The time that I'm recording this right now, we're going to get a balance patch in uh, a couple weeks. So, uh, like th uh, three weeks or so, probably. We see the Molly bases. There's always a lot of the similar stuff. Kind of interesting, but we don't see. Would we on six? We don't see any stacked of that Molly Theomars. Nothing new. We got some Clary Lume. Clary Lume is another one that if you did the Lume Dungeon, as long as you've been playing for enough, long enough to do Lume Dungeon, this is just a nice fast. It's got plenty of defense breaks here. It's got uh, a lot of control. It's got the stuns. It's got the decreased attack age. So. And then we see some more of those. We have here Malicious and Ositasina. This is another one. Another fairly free to play friendly as long as you have the Savannah. But Savannah is just a great unit for Siege in general. Here's uh, mostly free to play friendly. He will just start doing. Start picking targets, and you know this community's gonna have a lot of damage on him too. Why, 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 why? <laughs> I'm gonna comment, guys. I'm not gonna comment, and then he proceeds to comment nonstop. This, I've never seen this before. Oh, it's true. Well, this I've also never seen before. This is okay. You know, kind of, kind of curious. I like going up against if I if I'm gonna lose to something with from from just RNG, I would rather it be something new that I've not fought before. I just hate like cause after you get 
to know what the counters for things are. I mean, some of these are also some pretty, like these are pretty free to play friendly, right? Generally the four star bases. This is a different base, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, just the, just the same thing. That's the that's the siege. Uh, that's just the whole thing with siege, though. Is just if you guys are new, if you're returning or whatever, just stack the same bases as much as humanly possible. So, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying, but dark pure vanilla have not fought the Tamo defenses. Oh, I was here's some more of these. What I was saying is. I would rather, if I'm going to lose to something, I would rather lose to something that is a defense that I've not fought before because then I may not be prepared to counter it appropriately. I hate just losing to nonsense. I hate losing to like my skills not working, like none of, none of my, none of my skills, my, uh, activating or things just not critting like six times in a row. <laughs> the opponent's getting unlimited turns. So, yeah. That is just how Siege works. Monty got a buff not too long ago to his skill. Uh, not just Monty. All of the Dice Magicians got a buff. Oh, we're already done with the global ones. All Dice Magicians got a buff not too long ago uh, in a balance patch for the skill 2 to strip. I think it was just to strip, but the other ones got, balance, uh, got buffs as well. We're on to Asia now. Let's see the past. We're only going to take a look at the past four because I feel that... If we take a look at, we often take a look at too many of these and it gets, Miang, you don't know. We already tested Miang's AI a long time ago. I don't think it really changed, but you never know what she's actually going to do. So that's the sad thing about Miang. A lot of times it's skill one. It's like, if it wasn't just skill one all the time, it could be nice because she's got a crazy, uh, I forgot which one we were on. She's got a crazy leader skill. This is just a lot of different stuff. Of course, we see so many Montes. We see so many, so many cookies, water cookies. There's a lot of bases that we can't see, but we just want to get a good overview of all of the water cookies in, you know it. Oh, that's a little different. Okay. He's a pretty decent unit. Interesting. Uh, this dark... Dark uh, Guillaume, the Dark Phantom Thief, is an interesting unit. However, this invincibility, just uh, you can go through him with this. So that's kind of the, the bummer about that. That's why, as much as I like him, there's a lot of things that he can't be taken into. So many Shazams. Although, the Beast Monks have... Yeah, we're seeing a lot of... What else is new? We're seeing a lot of the same stuff. The Beast Monks all have leader skills now. If you guys are returning to the game... Water Holly Berry, Water Holly Berry, Water Holly Berry. The Assassin's units are going to be at that level at some point. You know they are. They're going to neglect them and neglect them and neglect them. And they're going to just buff them so that like a few of them are going to be ridiculous OP one day. It's a... Uh... It makes sense. It's interesting. I feel that if... I feel that if enough people just stack... Like, if a full guild just stacked a defense like this... Like, the, enti the, the entire... Uh, like, every tower... It would be very, very frustrating. I mean, not... No one would have that many... I shouldn't say no one would have that many mollies, but the entire guild is not going to have just molly after molly after molly after molly. If they did, they would be already uh, G3, and they wouldn't need my advice. So... Let's see. See some cichlids. Cichlid did also get a buff. This is a pretty tried and true defense. We already looked at this. And I'm clicking on the same. T oh, this is another also deep. Wait, was this one also? No, I did take a look at the same one twice, but there was also dupe towers as well. Some Fermion defenses. Man, I got, I got whacked by some of the maybe that's the wrong word to use um i got i had some frustrations with some of those fermion defenses every so often usually they're fine usually it's not really a big deal but sometimes 
Sometimes Fermion goes nanners. He doesn't take any debuffs. There's other units with him that stop him, uh, stop us. Because he's got the damage mitigation. So. Uh, another, another defense like this would be the Dark Vagabond. If you guys are like, oh, that seems good, but I don't have the kinky. Like, I don't have a kinky. On, I don't think I have a kinky on anywhere. This is uh, interesting. I really like Rakan. I, I think Rakan is so underrated right now. I mean, you see him in Siege, people are, you know, people realize that he's he's a very strong unit. But. I just want you guys to get an idea of a lot of the good def Just if you have a Water Hollyberry. And some of these units were from Hall of Heroes. So we can't really complain. Some of the best uh, LD Force were from Hall of Heroes. What do we have? More Holly Berries. Holly Berry does so much, though. Potentially keep your uh, units alive. As well as bakes cookies for your team. That's always very, very tasty. Uh, defense breaks. Does big damage. It's an interesting one. I mean, it's a, a lot of times just RNG, so. Too bad there's not like a more free to play friendly version of Molly. I suppose the water werewolf is, it's not, it's not the same, obviously, but the closest thing that I would think in terms of sustained and stopping things, your team from taking so much damage in a four-star tower, Water Werewolf kind of fits that same fits the same slot. We're here now on the Europe server. Let's see. We've got. Uh, we're just gonna take a look at the same four. Got the chilling in there. I know a lot of times I try to. Hey, there's the beta. Usually you see the Triana. I know a lot of times I try to find as many open bases and I'll like switch around the timeline to try to find more open bases, but I think we just want to get, I think these videos take a little too long in general and people are kind of like, wow, this is a super long video. So I just want to give people a brief overview. This is such a strong combination. And the Miangs. Although I think that's a good, uh, I think that's a good defense that a lot of people may be able to build. All right, what do we have here? Oh yeah, this is this is one that people are going to be able to build too. That's a <laughs> there we go. Uh, we're on five. Cichlid. It's interesting. All right, we've seen that one a bunch of times before. This is this this is the, not the same tower. This is a different tower. It's just got the same exact. This is also a different. This is. It's. Potentially very frustrating to have to hit the same tower over and over and over again. So this is kind of interesting. I like the ones. I think it's very effective to think, not only think out of the box, but think out of the box and then have it be a decent enough team and then also just build so many of it. So absolutely many. That just overwhelms your opponents. It can be very effective. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Oh, we're seeing mostly the same. Not the same, but we're seeing a lot of similar stuff. There are some some nuances, some differences. Here we go. Like speaking of the nuances and differences. This I I don't I don't know the last time I've seen that in Siege. That's kind of common. Well, that that was that was uh, maybe it's not that common, but uh, yeah, this was being used quite a bit back. Uh, I don't know, a year ago, maybe. Oh, nice. We are pretty close to being. We 
pretty close to being done is what I was going to say. Because we need to see all these different, uh, all these different servers. We'll just take a look at, we'll just take a look at three. So. Some Theo Mar Man, uh, maybe I'll try that defense. There's a lot of, eh, there's a lot of, I forgot where we were. It's all the same anyway. It's all, <laughs> it's all the same. Man, Theo, well, Theo Mars also got a buff because Theo Mars, his cooldown is much shorter than it was before. I don't remember what else we saw. Let's take a little re look at maybe these if we can get them open. All right, there we go. There we go. Waterhouse, Waterhouse is an underrated unit. It's great to see him here. Not the first time I've seen him in Siege, but it's great to see him here. And this is some similar stuff to the last one. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it, get, I hope it gives some of you some ideas for your own siege defenses. I will see you as always in the next one.